Hey everybody, it's Anthony from ComicsEatingUp.net. I'm doing Anthony's Pickups for August 22nd, 2017. Uh, today was the first day of Baltimore Comic Con. I spent uh, most of the day running around getting signatures and doing some other stuff, but I wanted to show off some of the goodies that I got. I started the day in Baltimore by going to the uh, retailer's breakfast, and uh, they handed out some cool goodies. Got the uh, Holland Comic Fest shirt that's done by Frank Avilia. Uh, it's an awesome shirt. It's very horror-themed, so I'm loving that. They also gave out the Scott Snyder Metal um, Graffiti Designs Tour shirt, so I was glad to get one of those. They handed out a couple of comics. I'll show you what they were. Uh, this is what all the retailers got. The Vampirilla J. Scott Campbell cover. I don't know if that's the regular one or not, um, but these were cool. Quantum and Woody number one. This is the retailer's uh, advanced copy. Um, flipping through it, it is funny as I'll get out. Um, got the special version of Metal. That's that, I believe it was a one per store variant. And you guys are going to laugh at me for saying this, but uh, you'll find out later. The first, in uh, the first issue of Ninja K. Now, I know most people are going to say that's Ninjak, but it's actually not. In this case, it's Ninja K. Um, at the Valiant uh, presentation, they talked about how they're going to tell the story of every ninja from Ninja A to Ninja Z. And, uh, of course, our, our Ninjak is Ninja K, so they'll get into it. Uh, but that's what we got at the uh, retailer's breakfast this morning. Uh, picked up some slabs. Picked up uh, Stabity Bunny number one. This is the self-published. It's signed by uh, Richard. It's 9.8. Uh, Richard Rivera is the writer. Uh, we gave away a copy of this um, on ComicsEatingUp.net, a 9.8 graded copy. Uh, so I got one today as a thank you for uh, uh, working with him and Scout Comics in general. Um, then I picked up the Baltimore Comic Con uh, ComicsEatingUp.net variant for Solar Flare number one. Uh, this was a 9.8 copy. I actually had sent off two copies a while ago to James Hake to um, sign and send over for me. The ironic thing is these were both signed copies. Um, I got quite a few signed copies back that because of the glossiness of the cover, he signed on the inside, and CBCS did not grade them as signature series. They graded them as blue label. Um, but that's okay. I was happy to get the 9.8 and the 9.6 of my own book. Um, so the rest of the day I spent running around uh, one of the signatures I had to get was Lee Bermejo. Um, got a bunch of copies of Suicide Squad number one signed by him. And also got a couple of copies of Suicide Squad number 16 signed by him. He's a great guy. And in fact, not only did I get the signed comics from him, but uh, I got one of his commissions and got him to do a Harley Quinn. I put up the process video of him actually doing this uh, this uh, drawing slash painting. It is amazing. His style is amazing, and just watching him work, I mean, it absolutely turned out beautiful. Um, in addition to that, one of the other things that you guys have probably heard me talking about on uh, these videos is I've been picking up cheap copies of Frank Cho's covers uh, on Harley Quinn. I absolutely love Frank Cho's work, and uh, his covers are beautiful. So I had him sign a ton of copies. He was super cool about it. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I literally waited till there's nobody in line, walked over and said, Frank, how many copies are you willing to sign before it becomes obnoxious? He said, just bring them on. So, uh, eight, nine, I ran out of bags today. Another copy of nine signed by Frank. Uh, let's see, a couple of copies of number 10 signed by him. Got quite a few, yeah, copies of number 11. This is a great cover show you that. Um, Cho's signature is different than the way he actually signs his artwork, so um, a lot of people get confused by that. They're used to seeing his iconic signature. Uh, some issues of uh, number 12, some number 13s, some number 14 signed by him. I can keep going through the list, but I got pretty much every cover Bunch of 15s signed by Frank Cho. 16s. 17. Now, this is out of my collection. 18 signed by him. A couple of copies of 19. And it just goes on. 20. There's another 20. Another 20. 
another, that's 22. For some reason, I missed taking a 21 with me. So I'm going to take a 21 with me tomorrow. 22, 23. Love that cover. 24 and 25, these are the connecting covers. So that way. Both signed by uh, Frank Joe under my hands there. And 26. And this uh, uh, issue 28, I missed number 27 as well. So there's a couple of books I have to take back to him tomorrow. Anyway, so that was it for um, what I picked up in Baltimore today. I go back tomorrow bright and early before the doors open up. And I'm um, looking forward to doing it all over again. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. A couple of people came up to me and mentioned that they watch these YouTube videos. They just came up and started talking to me, which was really cool because I always find it funny. Um, I was actually standing next to... Uh, um, Joe Pruitt and Jim Pruitt, Joe Pruitt from Aftershock and Jim Pruitt from Scout Comics. And, uh, you know, he came up and was like, hey, I know you. And I'm like, me? And uh, he started talking about the YouTube videos and following me on ComicsEatingUp.net. So I really do appreciate it. Um, and I love when people come up and talk to me about comics. So anyway, again, thanks for watching. You guys have a good weekend.